Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipsticks. And in case you didn't know, they came out 20 different shades within this collection. They are running for $24 and it's basically supposed to be a really comfortable, long-wearing matte lipstick with like a suede finish to the formula. This is also vegan and cruelty free. So today we're going to be trying them on. We're just going to see how do they feel on, what is the undertones like, how pigmented are they, what is the packaging like, because I love to see the packaging. And basically I picked up six different shades. We're going to be trying them all out today and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything of course if you already know the drill everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you already haven't subscribed here to my channel and as always let's dive on in and check these out. Start off with the packaging because this is something that I feel is really important. I always take this into consideration when you are you know buying something especially for $24 and so far I really like the packaging it has a matte finish to it it has a nice weight to it so it feels really luxe and like well made around the rim of this lipstick I feel like it's like almost magnetic of some sort it doesn't mention it on their website but it closes so nicely and like tightly that you don't have to worry about the top falling off which is perfect because if you're someone who throws your lipstick in your in your handbag and you sometimes worry about the top kind of flying off you won't have to worry when it comes to this packaging I also really love the idea that you won't even have to worry about potentially getting lipstick all around your purse in the inside So that is a big plus for me as for the first lip shade We're gonna go ahead and try on it. This one is called Sam and it's described on their website as a mid-tone Pink nude lipstick and you guys are here my channel girl. I love a good nude So I'm really excited for <laughs> to try on this collection and this is a really beautiful shade I love the undertone to it. I feel like it has a neutral undertone This is a perfect everyday type of lipstick that you can just kind of throw on it looks like your lip color but better it's not too pigmented all at the same time it's like nice soft and subtle as for the consistency of this lipstick I personally really like it so far I glided on effortlessly it's really pigmented it definitely has a matte finish but it also looks somewhat like velvety and soft which I personally really like and I'm excited to apply it on my lips just to so I can get a really good feel for it keep in mind that I'm gonna quickly <laughs> remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on this lipstick and by the way, in case you guys are interested in the lip combo that I'm currently wearing, I will have it linked in the description box below. So I'm going to start off in the corner of my mouth and apply this on. And this is basically it. It's a beautiful, exactly what they described, like a mid-tone pink nude lipstick. I love this lip shade. It is beautiful. And to be really honest, I'm not a huge fan of pink lipsticks at all, just because I find them to be too pinky. And I don't know, I'm just not a big pink lover. <laughs> so, but this one is really, really nice. As you can tell, it looks like my lip color, but better. And the finish of it does definitely the consistency of applying it on feels a little thick. So I do have to apply on a little bit more pressure, but so far no patchiness or anything like that. It feels really comfortable on the lips pressing my lips together. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. And it does feel really like soft. Like I feel like I don't really, like I have something on, but it feels like powdery all at the same time. If you can imagine what I'm trying to describe, <laughs> but it's really, really pretty. It's so far like the undertone. So let's move on to lip shade number two. This one is called Cam, described on their website as a dirty, peachy nude, <laughs> which I personally love. It's a really pretty lip shade. Honestly, it's giving me like tangerine peach vibes. This gives me summertime vibes, like something that you'd wear during the spring or summertime. Obviously, like I always say, you can wear any type of lip shade whenever you like. It just depends on your personal preference. You can always have fun and play around with lip liners as well. You can always use a chocolate brown lip liner and do like the little ombre effect or even just you wear this alone with like a nude lip liner or something close to the same undertone of this lipstick shade. But so far, I personally like it. I'm excited to apply this on. To be honest, I don't gravitate towards lip colors like this often, but every now and then, you know, I dabble. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and dive on in and apply on this lip shade. As always, I'm going to start in the corner of my lips. And then we're going to press our lips together. So this is Cam. What do you guys think? I honestly really like it. Like... It's a little bright because you can tell it's like peachy, but at the same time, I feel like it's not too bright. It's subtle enough. It's 
you know, it's toned down a little. <laughs> but I personally really like it. It's really pretty. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. And I can definitely see myself wearing this during the spring summertime. It's just a really pretty undertone. So far, I really like it. Same thing, the consistency. I did have to apply in a little bit of pressure, but overall I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that. It still feels really velvety and soft, doesn't feel drying at all. So let's move on to lip shade at number three. Shade at number three. This one is called Sierra, described on their website as a soft peachy pink nude. <laughs> and I personally really like it. It definitely has like a pink peachy nude undertone to it. It's really, really pretty. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on my lips <laughs> but we will see just because i feel like it's pretty light i feel like this will work really well for someone who's a lot lighter in skin complexion than i but overall you can you know get creative with lip liners you know kind of warm it up and just kind of apply this in the center of your lips to give you that little pretty pout like an ombre effect but overall i personally like it i feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip color you can apply it on and it'll work really well with any type of eye look or blush and that's what i love about this lip shade so far just by looking at it i feel like it's peachy but pink, it just works really well. And I feel like it has a neutral undertone, which is perfect. It's a really, you know, it's a diamond in the rough, I feel, like a lip shade. I've never seen anything quite like this. So let's go ahead and apply on this lip color. Do you guys see it? I hope you guys can see this lip shade. And I hope it doesn't look like, like my skin complexion. That's always my worry when I order these stuff online because you just never really know what you're getting in person because it can just look so different than their pictures. But this is basically it, you guys. Comment down below. Do you like it? Do you see it on? <laughs> can you notice a difference? So far, I glided on effortlessly. You literally saw it with like, what, two applications, a few little pouts together. And what I love so far about the consistency, what I've noticed is that even if you press your lips together, it doesn't separate the lipstick like sometimes lipsticks can do that that they'll like separate and you almost have to like re-blend everything out again so this one you don't have any issues it's a really beautiful undertone i personally really like it i feel like it even goes really well with my makeup look for today so let's move on to lip shade number four honestly i really love the name to this one this one's called rasa <laughs> which if you know what that translates to in Spanish, it's basically like our people, our community, you know, just like the raza, that's what basically what it is. And this one is described on their website, which I went off subject, <laughs> read it from online. And this is described on their website as a mid-tone pink pink. I feel like all of their descriptions is basically like mid-tone and some version of pink. <laughs> so far i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this quickly on the back of my hand and oh yeah this is definitely a pink pink type of lip color but it's still really pretty definitely not a lip shade that i would gravitate towards i feel like it's a little pinky for my linking but it's still really pretty it has a really nice uh neutral undertone to it and i feel like this is really pretty to wear during the summer or springtime just to give you a little bit of pop of color as for a scent I forgot to like look for a scent you guys but so far i don't smell a scent to these lipsticks yeah they don't have a scent to them which is a big plus because you know i don't really feel like it really matters at least in my opinion comment down below if you like products with scents do everything need to have a scent or just i don't know do you want something that has a scent if it's like a moisturizer or a foundation comment down below to love to know but this is basically it so we're gonna go ahead and dive on in and apply on rasa and i'm gonna start like always on the corner press our lips together comment down below what do you guys think it's actually really pretty to be really honest I thought it was gonna look a little bit more pinky like bright pink we'll see obviously when I'm editing this video but so far I actually really like it it's subtle enough that I feel like will work well for me that I won't feel like it's too loud <laughs> So, so far, so good. Same thing, the consistency feels really comfortable on the lips. I didn't notice any patchiness and it was really easy to apply on. So we're gonna move on to lip shade number five. This is called Annie and Annie is described on their website as a mid-tone 
peachy rose lip shade and to be honest by looking at it at least in person I don't know how it'll look on camera I'll see it when I'm editing this video but to be honest I see more of a like a rosy undertone to it than a peach undertone but we'll see so far it's really really pigmented very rich I feel like this is a beautiful fall lip shade or if you're gonna go on a date night this is perfect to go out it's bold but still subtle enough that you don't feel like it's like too loud or at least in my opinion comment down below on your thoughts I'd love to know so we're gonna go ahead and apply this on and I literally noticed that I have like a little makeup brush here so if you see a little bit of those little bristle hairs girl let me tell you it's because I go in <laughs> after every single one of these applications and I go in with the makeup removing wipe but then I go in with a little brush like this one to kind of like clean out the edges and basically apparently the little hairs are coming off so if you see them around my face like in the last clip I think I removed the ones that I had on but please excuse me okay <laughs> And this is basically, I actually like this lip shade. I feel like it's really pretty. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. I can surprisingly see myself wearing this lip color. It's going out of my comfort zone, but I actually really like it. It's really pretty and I find it to be really unique. I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that. It feels still really comfortable on the lips. Like before I mentioned to you guys before, it feels really comfortable, velvety, powdery on my lips, but at the same time, it does not feel drying at all. Katie is our last and final lip shade. This is described on their website as a mid-tone rosy nude lip shade. I intentionally put them in this order <laughs> of trying them on, and it's actually really pretty. This is something that I feel like I'm gonna really, really love. I love lip shades like this. It almost looks like a mocha, espresso it just has like a warm undertone to it which I personally love and I've been wearing a lot of lip shades like this this fall winter season so I personally really love it I'm really excited to test this out it feels really creamy it has a suede finish for sure you I feel like you can mostly see it swatching in the back of my hand or even like on your lips when you apply it on so so far it's a beautiful lip shade what do you guys think do you feel like it has like a rosy undertone I feel like it kind of does maybe on camera you'll notice it but it's really really pretty I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on what do you guys think of Kate to be honest I feel like she's really really pretty she's definitely a dirty <laughs> what is it called dirty rose nude lip shade I honestly really like it I can see myself wearing this lip shade it's very unique and I love the undertone I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion comment down below on your thoughts I'd love to know what you think so far overall you guys for $24 I definitely feel like it's worth it I feel like the price point is really fair I really like the packaging it feels really nice luxe and it has a good weight to it I love that it has like almost like a magnetic rim to the packaging so you don't have to worry about losing the top and for it flying off ever all around in your makeup bag and potentially getting lipstick in your purse and last and finally you guys let's do a long wear kind of transfer test I currently have like coffee cup here in front of me because I was drinking my coffee while I was getting ready so I could start filming and let me take a sip I don't know if you guys are gonna see it it transferred a tiny bit which I feel like says a lot so it's perfect if you're gonna go out and eat and have a date night or something you don't have to really worry about reapplying I feel like it pretty much stay in place at least the majority of the lip colors so that is a big plus for me as for the consistency of this lipstick I honestly really really like it everything that described it on their website that it's non-drying comfortable it's matte but it has like a suede you know feel like to the formula of this lipstick it definitely does it feels really comfortable like I mentioned you guys before it was easy to apply on you do have to apply a little bit of pressure when you're applying on this lipstick because obviously it is a matte lipstick but overall I loved the experience and I honestly don't feel like I need to use a lip liner after applying this on I can just wear it alone and I love the undertones to it I think they did really really well picking out the lipstick shades for this collection I mean honestly I only picked up six so I can't really say for the rest of them but overall I really like what I picked and I love every single one of these lip shades and I can definitely see myself wearing them even after filming this video so that says a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any questions if I got to you know mention anything comment down below ask away I'm always here to help and as well if you have any video ideas I'm always looking for video ideas so let a girl know everything will be linked down below as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye